In the fraction division example C, I have 7 halves divided by 3 fourths. I'm going to use the rules above, which tell me to leave the first fraction as is, change division to multiplication, and use the reciprocal of the second fraction. Now I have 7 halves times 4 thirds. What I'm going to do is to leave the 7 halves the same. I'm going to write 4 thirds as 2 times 2 over 3 because I see that I have a 2 in the denominator here. So one of those 2's and one of those 2's will be removed. So I have 7 times 2 which is 14 over 3. There is an improper fraction result. 3 will divide into 14. 4 times. 4 times 3 is 12. That leaves me a remainder of 2 over 3. So here I have my improper fraction and my mixed number result for the initial division. In the second part, I have 8 twelfths divided by 4. Again, I'm going to follow the rules. So I have 8 twelfths, change the division to multiplication. The reciprocal of 4 is 1 over 4. That's a little bit tricky. Now I have 8 over 12 times 1 over 4. I'm going to write that as 2 times 4 times 1 over, and then my 12, I'm going to write as 2 times 6, and then I have the times 4 from the second fraction. Now notice that here I'm combining all the multiplications over one fraction bar. In this problem I kept them separate. Either way is fine. I'm just trying to illustrate a couple of different ways to approach these problems. So going back to the second problem here, let me remove my common factor. So there's a 2 over 2, a 4 over 4. So those are all gone. Take those out. And what I have left is 1 over 6. And that is my final result.